Hello and welcome to a travel tip with me, Andy Wright. Today we're going to talk about the IDP, the International Driving Permit. I have one there. The IDP. Now you will need this in certain countries. But as far as Thailand is concerned, there is some actual um dubious information that you do need it and also that you don't need it and it is very confusing so i would say err on the side of caution and get yourself one of these because they're only five pounds fifty from the post office and it will save you a lot of hassle when you're in country and you haven't got one so normally I would use my um, normal driving license, and I have done. I have used my um, some wrong way up. My driving license, I have used that uh, in Thailand. I've actually given it to the police officer, and he's obviously liked it and given it back. So, for as far as that's concerned, and then I gave it this time round, and he um, wasn't impressed. So that was a different area of, of the country. So the IDP, basically, let's get it up the right way. You uh, can get your IDP from the post office, as I said. And what they do, you need to take your ID. So you need to have your maybe your passport and your driving license. And, what they will, and, and also you need to get a photograph done. So what they will do is they will fill out this particular um, document based on your um, your existing license so these are stamps for categories that you can drive legally um, based on your own driving license and what they will do is they will fill that in um, and it's valid for one year so five pound fifty pretty good stuff you know and it will save you a lot of hassle in long term if you're going to be driving anyway i just thought i'd show you that this is the idp that you can get from the post office very very simple just take your id take your driving license and five pound fifty and a photograph that you could get, get done in the post office if you're lucky uh if they haven't already shut down and you will come away with an IDP, which you can you can use in most countries to prove that you could drive a car legally. Right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tip. And I'll catch you again for another one very soon. Bye for now.